Good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to I give you tutorial of how to use this. Now, I like to keep the notes down because I never never take notes. Never take notes. So I'm just gonna keep that down there. Alright, so what I I'm going to focus in this part animation and fading images into each other. Now, I'm sure you've seen at some point this background. Um, this one right here. This one right here. Now it looks like all of this is photoshopped in. However, it is not. The white outlines were taken out. You can kind of see some still there, like right Look at the right hand, upper right hand corner, right there. Um, look to the upper right hand corner, right there. Okay, right, right there. Yeah, now. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, you've seen that back. If you haven't, you have now. So, thank goodness. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Where? Where is it? Okay, this is the random logo. I did not make this, by the way. You can set the transparent color to be on the black part, and then you can find an image. Bloopity doop. Boom. Now, if you want to make it look all pretty full, you can put it a line center and a line middle. This will put it in the dead center of your slide. You can also do that to you can do that to every picture that you get. And that one was already at the center, so thank goodness. So let's move Shaq so you can see his pretty face. And that mm, I don't know what that thing is, but anyway. Now you can have things on the outside of the slide and have them move in to the slide. So you can go animations, um, anything really, lines, loobity loobs, you can have a fly into the slide. Now on, okay, uh, now you can slow down the speed of the animation so you can actually see the animation taking place. You can see that it's moving there and not just duplicating itself so that it is over at that point position. Yeah! So, then, okay. But yeah, that's how you can pretty much fade image in, images into each other. And it's really convenient if you want to make your pictures look awesome. There's one more picture that I wanted to show that I made in both it's not going to advance is it okay good it it advanced okay so this both of these i made in powerpoint this is what i was originally going to have this is what i actually ended up with let me add that to the actual powerpoint so that it doesn't keep advancing slideshow all right. Oh, I forgot to take off the advance. Wow. Oh wait, I remember how I can fix that. Okay, I can advance, and then if you hit back, it'll stop everything. So you can look at your PowerPoint like right here, so it doesn't automatically advance. Now, that was Pano shopped above grand. Below Sonic the Hedgehog, the picture of Sonic the Hedgehog was painto shopped. You can see which ones were painto shopped and which ones had their backgrounds removed. Now, another thing that you can do with PowerPoint and Paint in collaboration is you can take an image of with a white background, actually. Uh, I don't know what to put in. Copy. Gosh dang it. Open. That's the stressful part about paint, is that it will disallow that kind of stuff. So, yeah. No. 
Okay, you'll see that there is going to be a white background there. But if you um, take this image, select all, copy and paste it over, and then you try to delete the white background, that wasn't supposed to happen. What I was going to show you is that um, that was going to take away the white parts on the actual image itself as well as the white background. So what you can do is look for any color in there that you don't see, such as blue. Then you can fill that part in, select the image, copy, paste, and then remove the blue part and it would be better looking than the other one, but since that didn't work out for me, it was being a dirtbag, so, uh, crap. Yeah. Okay, you can also compress the pictures to lower quality, I guess. I don't use it that much because it actually usually increases the file size. But anyway, yeah. But that is how you can put images into each other so that you can make backgrounds like the one I have shown. You can have images like this only you using only paint and PowerPoint. They practically come with your computer, man. So you gotta pay attention. You see, you can like take this image for example. It was originally part of a video that I screenshotted in and oh my goodness I have so many photo viewers open and I had to go into paint and cut the parts out. It eventually worked however and now we're happy. But yeah that's all you really need to know about it. Um, fading images into each other and I don't know where that went. Oh there it is. So, in the next video, I am going to explain animating. Yay!